Okay, so today we're going to be doing a comparison between the cat skull and the human skull. So first off, you can obviously see there is a large size difference, with the human skull being significantly bigger, with, this allows for a larger brain cavity and therefore a larger brain. So we'll start off by looking at the back of the cat skull here. So this ridge right there, you can see here, that's the sagittal crest. This is actually where the muscle attaches and allows for the cat to actually slice through meat quite efficiently. If we look at to the human skull here though, you see there is actually no sagittal crest. We do not possess one. So we'll also take, go to the back of the skull again here and you can see the opening right here. This is the foramen magna. This is where the spine attaches to the skull. So it's actually at the very back of the cat skull and at an angle. So this actually relieves a lot of stress on the cat's spine. If we move over to human here, you can see it's actually directly on the bottom of our skull right here. So this actually allows for a greater balance while we are walking. So we'll take a look at the eye socket here. So in comparison, you can see the cat eye socket is a lot bigger in, in comparison to their skull than the human skull. This allows for them to capture a lot more light in low light conditions and therefore hunt a lot more efficiently. So we'll take a look now at the teeth. So you can see here on the cat, the ones right in the front, so these small ones are called the incisors. Next to that, the long pointed one right here, that's the canine. We've got the premolars back here, with the molars being right at the back. The cat does not actually possess the ability to move its jaw back and forth, so it can't really grind its food. Um, that's where actually the humans, um, they are actually able to move their jaw back and forth, so they can grind their food with their molars, which are actually located right at the back here, yeah, and also with the premolars right here. And then we've got the canines, and we also got the incisors right at the front. So our teeth are a lot more suited for our omnivore diet. So another thing we can see here is um, the gap between the space, or the teeth, sorry, on the diastema. The cat does possess one, whereas in the humans, we do not possess this gap between the canines and the premolars.